बी रेडी फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट वेन द स्पीकरस कॉन्फ्रेंस वॉज हेल्ड इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी एट इन द प्रेजेंट असेंबली बिल्डिंग आई हैड फेल्ट देन दैट इट वॉज ए स्मॉल बिल्डिंग बट यू हैड कैरिड ऑन विद इट फॉर दीज ट्वेल्व ईयर्स वी डू हैव टू ऑब्जर्व इकोनॉमी बट एन असेंबली बिल्डिंग इज एन असेंशियल एक्सपेंडिचर देयर फोर आई एम ग्लैड दैट यू हैव थॉट ऑफ constructing a new building it is like a temple it is a temple for democracy temple for the people of whichever faith or political color it is where all shades of opinion meet and decide as to what should be the fate of the people democracy has different colors we do know some of them but we are following the parliamentary type of democracy which is growing strong in the commonwealth countries having been a part of the commonwealth naturally we chose the parliamentary type but as a member of the constituent assembly i knew how our experts tried to put into our constitution different shades of opinion presidential type and parliamentary type even in the parliamentary type there are different system from the very beginning since independence i have had a doubt in my mind whether this system does not need a little change i have a suspicion that a minority of the people have a chance to roll over the majority of the people in a multi party system in a constituency where 20 to 30 people contest now a days a person getting about 10% votes also gets elected and he becomes the representative of 100% of the people if people are elected like that with a small minority of votes and a party getting a narrow majority of one or two votes elects a leader who himself represents a minority that leader becomes the chief minister or the prime minister but in australia when i went there in 1968 i studied their practice they have tried to circumvent this lacuna by making voting compulsory every voter must vote if he does not he has to produce a medical certificate that he is seriously ill or else he is taken to task a fine or something i can understand this happening in australia with a small population of 1.2 or 1.3 crore because the population does not grow there it is a huge country with a small population only sir at the secondary stage students are called upon to study along with the mother tongue a language which will be hindi in non hindi speaking states and it should be one of the other languages in the hindi speaking states preferably a south indian language and also english which is the third language tamil nadu has come for an adverse comment in this matter i would like to know whether any other state is honestly implementing this policy of three language system you find that education is mostly being imparted in the mother tongue and some place is given to english so in actual practice it is being taught very indifferently if you look into the matter you will find that english is not being taught with proper standards so the three language formula is a thing which everybody 
talks about and which nobody agrees to implement for instance there were questions earlier also as to what the uttar pradesh is doing whether they are teaching any other indian language preferably south indian language the reply came that they are not doing anything of the sort it is true that tamil nadu declared that it would only follow the two language formula the new chief minister also said that while that is so other states are not saying anything on this matter and they are just keeping quiet this is how it is actually being implemented in practice actually what is being done is that the mother tongue is given full recognition and then comes english so in actual practice de facto mother tongue is the first language that is being taught and then english is the second language not hindi or any other indian language is the second language though you talk much about it this is the thing which has to be taken into account but if you are going to follow the three language formula please see whether it is being carried out anywhere by any state and then try to evolve a realistic policy i do not find fault with up or bihar government because they do not teach one of the south indian language to their children why should they burden their boys and girls with a south indian language with which they very rarely come into contact there is no motivation you may say there is motivation in non hindi speaking states to learn hindi as hindi has been adopted as our national language and link language etc but there is resistance to hindi while framing the policy regarding that